monday.com widgets tutorial hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial in today's video i'm going to show you how you can use widgets and what type of widgets are they available into the workspaces of monday so we're going to head over our work management space on monday.com and we're going to head over the board of it so you're going to see the widgets either if you're going to have a view a board or a specific let's say here a certain view that you're going to integrate within your board so we're going to head over uh, the workspaces select our workspace for example i'm going to choose that and we can go ahead and see the different type of views in here so if i am going to choose a view I can go ahead, for example, and head over the chart. The chart are going to be the statistics that are counted into the different uh, shapes or different chart that you are going to have. As you can see, you are going to have uh, this widget. So as you can see, this chart is going to be considered as widget. So if I am going to add another widget into the chart, uh, as you can see here view, I can go ahead and click on add widget. And I can go ahead and get um, until or a maximum number of 30 widgets into a, a view. So I'm going to click on add widgets. And as you can see, we have principally five widgets that we can add or the uh, five, uh, let's say, notorious uh, widgets that are available and also very well used into the uh, monday.com workspaces. We have the first one which is going to be the chart so it is going to be resembling or it is going to be the same as this you can go ahead and create a chart widget to visualize uh, or show the data from your boards so it is going to be crucial to have the board connected to that specific view you can add a number widget you can go ahead and get a quick view on all uh, the numbers of the columns i'm going to add another chart or another as you can see widget i'm going to make it a little bit bigger and this number is going to be for example with a unit and with a function so i'm going to have it with a unit for example of a price i'm going to have it as a price and for the function of it it is going to be either a sum an average a median a minimum or a maximum or a count for example, I'm going to have the sum, which is going to be the total of the, uh, let's say, the numbers that are available into the table. So, for example, as you can see, we have a number of the budget only in here. So this is going to be the the only uh, budget or the only number that we can count. So for the budget, we have we have a thousand plus one hundred plus one hundred plus five hundred. That means that we are going to get a sum or a total of 1,700. When we're going to head over the chart and this is the widget is going to have the sum. Now, I can go ahead and add or change the specific widget um, specifications or customization by clicking on more options. I can go ahead and make a full screen, rename it, duplicate it, export it, or dock the widget. I can go ahead and also head over the uh, settings and see different settings that we can type or we can have. For example, for the short one, I can go ahead and have the short type. For example, we can have a pie, a donut, a line, bar, column, area, and bubble. You can control the X and Y axes, also customize uh, the colors and also uh, the uh, text that you are going to have in here. You can have the benchmark lines and also the groups. So it is going to be a very simple to change. Maybe I'm going to have donut or the pie instead. We are going to find it changed. Also for the number, you can go ahead and have also the settings and set up maybe a count or a column. For example, for a budget, maybe you're going to add here as many columns as you want if you're going to have them right there. So you can go ahead and have, as you can see here, the customizations and also the grouping. So aside from that, you can go ahead and have a battery, Gantz, and file gallery. The battery is going to represent a progress bar at only one glance. So if I'm going to add it, you're going to see this battery or this specific bar, progression bar, 
they are going to have it uh, with the label or uh, represented with uh, as you can read in here the um, uh, here we have the status I think or the statuses and also we can see it in details whenever you are going to click on it you're going to see it in detail and that is going to be for all the uh, normally the widgets except the number so I can go ahead also and click on the settings of this specific widget and I can go ahead and change the status columns. For example, I'm going to have the priorities and it is going to colorify uh, here all the uh, specific, um, let's see here, uh, tasks and also the percentage. It will obviously uh, have the percentage of it right there. So you can go ahead and change, for example, a status for one. I'm going to make it done and it is going to be in here. So as you can see, it is going to be colorful. I'm going to have it as maybe work or I can go ahead and have it as stock, for example, just like that. If I go ahead to have it to the priority, I can go ahead and uh, modify this as much as you want. So it is going to um, represent the, um, let's say, the progress bar. Now, move on to the other uh, widgets. We have the Gantt which is going to be a plan and track and present the project visually using a Gantt chart. So it is going to be a chart just like that, uh, containing or having the uh, timeline, as you can see, of the project or of the weeks, years, whatever that you have put in here. So as you can see here, we have week number 23, week uh, 9, and whatever. So we are going to have our week is going to be just like that so what can we do from uh, this specific area we can go ahead and have the timeline of each one of the tasks so you can have here task edit them set them or remove them or put them as milestones uh, set up the task uh, see the different details that we have on them and here we have it now moving on to the other or the uh, next uh, widget which is going to be the file gallery. So we're going to have here the file gallery added, which is going to be representing all the files that we have into our project or into our workspace that has been attached to a specific a table or a task. For example, I'm going to have this image attached to a, a file or to the files column. So we're going to head over the main table and we're going to have it in here. So this is the file, as you can see, and there it is. So it is going to count all of the files and add them into that widget. So this is going to be uh, like a resume or uh, the full files, uh, let's say uh, appearance or location to not lose the track and also see everything together. So if you're going to be um, maybe having here uh, tens, uh, hundreds, or thousands of tasks, you can go ahead and head over here only, and then you're going to have the file. So you can go ahead and filter them. So by maybe a column, condition, or add a new filter, for example, by a name of the file or the file itself, and you're going to have uh, the value of it added just like that. So as you can see, this is going to be very useful. And the final one is going to be the apps. As you can see, you can enhance the dashboard with widgets built on Monday apps framework. So you're going to head over here and see more and more widgets that you can have. For example, we have the to do lists, the numbers, as you can see here. Uh, this is, I think, that we have uh, got it before. So we have I was mentioned, I'm tracking. This is something that we haven't in here. Um, so, so we have the calendar and also we have the timeline. I'm going to add the calendar and see. So the calendar is going to be something that we can, we need, and it is going to be crucial to have it mentioned. So as you can see here, it is going to add all the tasks that we need them. You can filter them, see the values or uh, select uh, them and see uh, the uh, details about them. So this is going to be very cool. And for all of the widgets, you can go ahead and have them as much as you want. You can go ahead and have some categories mentioned in here. You can uh, have also the apps embedded like uh, Airtables, Twitter feeds, uh, maybe a Facebook feed, whatever you want from these apps. 
are going to be also a blast so you can have Miro and notion uh, integration to embed maybe a view in here or a specific uh, let's say a project or accumulation of tasks for the media you can have here youtube also or maybe videos that you're going to have or some tutorials maybe uh, some uh here most important or more important videos that you're going to put as reference for the workers and etc so basically that was pretty much it for the widgets you can have all of the widgets saw in here you can use them uh, on the board or as a view or you can go ahead and use them on the dashboard also so you can have here the dashboard you can add from here a dashboard and you can go and start and add the widgets that you have saw on the board that we have connected so that was pretty much it for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and i hope to see you soon on the next one